seismic activity in the Sundnukar crater chain is still relatively low. Several earthquakes have been recorded each day, mostly located between Storaskogfell and Selingarfell. In recent days, bad weather has affected the sensitivity of the seismic monitoring system, potentially preventing the detection of the smallest earthquakes. The uplift and accumulation of magma beneath Svartsenghi continues. However, GPS measurements have shown indications that the rate of uplift may have slowed in recent days. It is too early to conclude definitively whether this change indicates a slowdown in magma flow, as similar variations have been observed across the GPS network far from Svartsenghi. At this stage, external factors such as space weather or changes in satellite orbits cannot be ruled out as possible causes. If the GPS measurements reflect a real change in deformation and a slowdown in the uplift and accumulation of magma, this will become clearer next week when new satellite imagery becomes available to compare with the deformation measured by the GPS network. Scientists at the Icelandic Meteorological Office continue to assess that it is unlikely that sufficient pressure will build up to trigger an eruption in December. One factor supporting this conclusion is the low seismic activity measured in the area. If the rate of uplift at Svartsengi changes, or if there is a significant increase in seismic activity, This assessment will be revised accordingly. An estimate of the volume of magma that might be needed to trigger a new intrusion or eruption has been calculated. The minimum volume required is estimated to be around 23 million cubic meters. In the run-up to the last two eruptions, Seismic activity in the area northwest of Grindavik increased in the weeks before the eruptions began. This seismic activity is interpreted as an indication that pressure in the magma chamber is building up, indicating that another event may be imminent. Lessons learned from previous magma intrusions and eruptions provide insight into estimating how much additional magma must accumulate beneath Svartsengi to trigger the next event. The period of increased probability of magma intrusion, and therefore the probability of eruption, is determined by the lower and upper uncertainty thresholds. It is also important to observe how seismic activity increases as magma accumulates. If a significant increase in seismic activity is recorded when the magma volume beneath Svartsengi reaches the lower uncertainty threshold, the probability of a new magma intrusion and potential eruption increases. The probability will then increase gradually as more magma accumulates and seismic activity increases. It should be noted that the risk of an eruption can be high for several weeks before the magma intrusion and possible eruption begins. Magma, uplift and accumulation are ongoing at Svartsengi. The total magma volume beneath Svartsengi is now about 80% of what it was before the eruption began. If the rate of magma accumulation remains stable, 
the magma may soon reach the levels observed before the dike intrusion and the final eruption began. However, the Icelandic Meteorological Office estimates that a much larger volume of magma would need to accumulate beneath Svartsengi to trigger another intrusion.